So the first step we have to take to remotely run commands on an EC2 instance with AWS Systems Manager is attach a role to an existing IAM user. Or you can create a new one. I have TechSnip IAM. So we need to give our user access to AWS System Manager. We can do that by clicking on Add Permissions, add the existing policy directly, and then we can search for it. So we just type in SSM, and I'll give this IAM user Amazon SSM full access. So if we have a look at that user, and you now see it has that policy attached. So next, we need to go into our EC2 instance. I've got a single EC2 instance running with Windows Server 2016. We select Actions, Instance Settings, Attach, Replace, IAM Role. So you'll see we've got no roles defined at the moment, so we're going to create a new IAM role. So we click on Create Role, and then we click on EC2. Click Next, and we'll do a search for SSM. So here you see we've got Amazon EC2 role for SSM. So we select that role, click Next to Review, and we've got to give this role a name, and then click on Create Role. So now we've created that, we attach it to our EC2 instance, and that lets our EC2 instance talk to the API of Amazon Systems Manager. So if we go back and do a refresh, now we can select our role, which we're going to attach to our instance. So now I'll switch over so that we can log in under our IAM username and password, and then try and run a command. So now we're signed in, I can see our EC2 instance. So on the left-hand side, we'll scroll down, and under Systems Manager Services, we'll click on Run Command. And then we'll click on the blue button. So we're going to run a PowerShell command. To do that, we can use AWS Run PowerShell Script. So we'll manually select our instance, as we've only got one instance. That's it there. We'll execute on one server concurrently. You can also choose percentage. So if you have multiple EC2 instances, you can do 50% of them. Or you can select a number of targets. You have the option to stop after X amount of errors, and then we have the box where we can add in our commands. So we'll just run get service. We don't need to put a working directory in for this. Uh, we'll have a timeout of six minutes and we can add comments. So in the advanced options, we can actually choose the option to write our output to an S3 bucket and also send a notification. And we can also use that AWS command line interface. For the purpose of this demo, we won't be using any of those options. So we'll just click Run. If we click on View Result, we'll see it's actually in progress. So we'll refresh that. So it's still running. Um, I should add at this point that the, as you're using a Windows 2016 server image, the SSM agent is already deployed on Amazon Windows images. So now that's finished running, we can have a look at the output. And there you'll see the result of running get service through AWS system manager thank you for watching this video